Welcome in to everyone. Thanks for joining my channel. Thanks for watching this video anyways. It's a beautiful sunny morning. I am about 120 kilometers away from uh, Regina to our delivery place. I just uh, talk to them, let them know I'll be there about 10.45 since the load wasn't ready yesterday uh, at the time that was supposed to be ready it was supposed to be ready at 1 in the afternoon and I got there at 2 and it still wasn't ready I had to wait there till uh, 5 o'clock till the load was finally ready by the time I get out of there so then you know well, I'll be 3 hours Almost three hours later the load is ready than it was supposed to be so uh, but I pushed her real hard we got out of there and didn't stop all day until I uh, was done at the end of the day and just went straight to bed and up here in Canada you can just take eight hours off and you can drive again well you can do your eight hours off and then you do your 15 minute for a pre-trip and then you can go again right so that's what I did and uh, here we are, back on the road, rolling. Yeah, you know, the latest the load was supposed to be there is 10.30, so uh, I'll be there about 15 minutes late, but yeah, well, what can you do? That's just the way trucking life goes. If the load wasn't ready, then there's nothing you can do about it. We have to follow the law. So we can't do anything about that. I'm not gonna break the law trying to get the, the load there earlier just you know to please them I have to follow the law so just absolutely nothing I can do about that so but anyways we're going to try and get a good day in today hopefully we'll be able to get a reload out of there like dispatch told me yesterday he said probably go over to Yorkton and pick up the load over there and I do, I do know we have a lot of uh, preloaded trailers sitting there almost all the time. So if he was talking about that yesterday, I'm sure he was talking to them about it. They'll probably have a loaded trailer sitting there ready by the time I get there tonight. Which will probably be tonight because uh, I think it's a few hours drive. I don't know exactly how far it is from... Regina to uh, Yorkton, but it's definitely a few hours. I'm pretty sure of that I know I don't think I've ever gone across that way, so I Can't say for sure, but yeah, well, we'll find out I guess well here. We are just rolling into uh, Regina right now And it's five minutes till 1030 and I got two and a half kilometers to go so I might actually just about make it there on time. That's uh, not very far away anymore. So we will see you over there. Well, I am over here at uh, Sleep Country. And uh, I don't really like to brag or anything like that. But uh, I blindsided, blindsided backed into this dock. And this is the first time I've ever had this much luck. Look at my tracks. I went way over there and I backed her in over here. And you can see I didn't really go forward much at all. This is where it was. This is as far as I went. And look at that. I got perfectly into the door. I've never blindsided backed into a door where I've gotten it in perfectly like this. That must be my lucky day. I'm feeling lucky. Here we go. We finished dropping our trailer and doing our one drop delivery up there. And uh, went over to the other place and dropped the trailer, switched with an empty, picked up the empty trailer and had to sweep it out. But hey, that's okay. Swept it out and now we are on our Highway 10. Uh, Going over to York and the sketch one. We got a reload out of there. It's supposed to be ready today. And so uh, I guess we will make our way over there. 
we'll see how it goes if everything will go uh, smoothly over there and if the load is ready I might be able to make it home today but we'll see we'll see if that actually will happen but oh yeah at least we got nice sunshine today the roads were a little bit slippery in town but other than that it's good already here we are we just finished switching trailers up here in York to Saskatchewan I am certainly lucky today I tell you I've been having such good luck today backing in over there and Regina switching trailers over there got me a nice trailer up there Turn right on. Highway this nine. place up here is usually pretty fussy with trailers they want the trailer to be a hundred percent clean uh, it's not allowed to have any bent uh, sections in that metal rail that goes about uh, along the bottom of the trailer and the trailer I picked up there was nice it was brand new rails on the bottom there and everything was nice the only thing I had to, I had to sweep out the trailer but that was no big deal you know we got to do that on a regular basis anyways and then I get up here and the uh, trailer is ready he said he just finished loading it so it was still on the dock they hadn't even pulled it away from the dock he just literally just finished loading it so i am so lucky today thank you lord right for blessing me today nine. it's just i just feel lucky and blessed today i don't know you don't feel like that every day you know anyways so we got to go over to the uh, DOT scale and scale this load because these uh, customers here they are known to have heavy loads uh, usually they say it's 44,000 pounds in the box and usually it's more like 46,000 so right now they said they got 25,000 in the box but I'm pretty sure they loaded a lot of that stuff in the front and so we still are required to go over to the DOT scale according to our dispatch we have to send in a uh, micro message on the satellite with our weight axle weight to make sure that it is legal to go into the United States so that's what we're going to do uh, we got uh, yeah, probably 10 clicks down the road here where we got a uh, DOT scale and that's where we are allowed to go over and scale it and that's what we'll do we'll head over there and we'll scale this and then uh, we will make our way back home I got 530 kilometers to go home so that's not bad at all I should be able to make it home today then yeah four kilometers. I'm happy about Turn that left on Trans Canada Highway. so with that we will be back later alrighty here we go we are just about to roll on the scale here and we will see what our weight is now this is usually in kilograms so we are sitting at 5470 kilos so that is 12,000 59 pounds that's on the steering so let's get our drives on there and let's see what that is looking like oh that's pretty good we're looking at 13 kg 13,120 to be exact so 13 120 that is 28, 9, 25. So 28,925 pounds. We are allowed 34,000 in the US. So we are looking pretty good. Let's get the trailer on there and keep our fingers crossed that that's going to be good. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it very much.
We are sitting at 11,860 pounds, I mean kilograms, so that is 11, 8, 60, 26, 1, 4, 7, so that's what we're looking at for pounds, so we are good to go, let's get going. Well, I am officially done just made it back into my yard and it's been a long day for me but we made it home safely that's okay we certainly did use up our full 16 hours that we are allowed to be on duty time we're not on duty time but we are allowed to drive in our 13 hours up here in Canada in 16 hours and we stretched that all out today we got at the yard exactly at the 16th hour and we are done so here we are just parked the truck in, uh, in my driveway now I am completely done so uh, hey with that Without further ado, I am just tired. I will continue tomorrow with my videos. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed them. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye -bye.